in the construction projects that involve cranes, require careful ground bearing pressure calculations to be done throughout the planning phase. In doing so, they enable project site in determining the viability of lifting operations, choosing the best sizes and configurations of cranes, and pinpointing the optimal places for crane deployment. Workers, equipment, and the environment can all be better protected when everyone involved has a strong understanding of the GBP. Soil collapse, sinking, or instability can occur when the ground bearing pressure is more than what the soil can withstand. This can cause accidents, equipment damage, or even injuries. The stability of the crane mats and the ground below them is enhanced by determining the GBP. How to determine if crane mats are structurally sound is the subject of this video. Crane mats, also known as crane pads, are heavy-duty platforms made from materials such as timber, steel, or composite materials. They serve several important purposes in construction and crane operation. One of the primary purposes of crane mats is to distribute the weight of heavy equipment, such as cranes and other machinery, over a larger area. The effectiveness or integrity of your crane mats to distribute the load on the ground is crucial for planning stage. This helps prevent excessive ground bearing pressure, soil compaction, and ground deformation, particularly on softer or less stable surfaces. For this example, the crane mats that we want to utilize are constructed from steel I-beams. The I-beam is connected in parallel to create a platform with a total length as shown in the sketch. The dimensions of the I-beam we plan to use for our computation are as follows. The crane mat has a total length of 6 meters, a height of 314.5 millimeters, and a width of approximately 1.23 meters. The crane outrigger has a total diameter of 700 millimeters. These are the properties of the crane mats that we are using for our calculation. The data is derived from the Sky CIV software. Later we will do also the manual calculation, for the I-beam moment of inertia at the Z-axis. I have developed this spreadsheet for computation purposes. Later in this video, you will witness both the manual calculation and the utilization of this spreadsheet. Here the example of the ground bearing pressure generate by the crane during lifting. The weight of the load being lifted by the crane is a primary factor determining the ground bearing pressure. As the crane lifts heavier loads, the downward force exerted on the crane outrigger resulting in higher ground bearing pressure. We will consider this maximum outrigger result for our calculation. This is the list of data that we will be using for our calculations. The maximum outrigger force generated during the lifting operation and the diameter of the crane's outrigger. The overall dimensions of the crane mat and the steel grade of the I-beam. It is important to be aware of the steel grade of your I-beam, as the integrity of the materials used depends on the grade of the beam. There are numerous grades of steel available in the market, depending on the specific grade of steel you intend to use for your crane mats. Let us start the computation. Please take note of the formulas listed in the slide, and get your calculator ready, so you can follow me in my computation. Calculate the force under contact area. To get this, max outrigger force divided by area of the mat. Next, calculate the moment at cantilever portion of mat. Calculate the actual bending stress. Moment multiply by centroid of the crane mat divided by inertia. 
centroid is the half of the height of the crane mat. Next calculate the allowable bending stress. This value is depend from grade of your steel. For this example, the grade of steel we are using 275 MPa. Hello, are you still able to fully understand my calculations? Keep practicing until you attain mastery in the formulas and calculations. Now, let us continues. Calculate the shear on mat and the shear area of mat. Please follow the formula given, so you can get this two value. If you have reached this point in the video, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Calculate the actual shear stress. To get this, shear on mat divided by shear area of mat. Next calculate the allowable shear stress. To get this, the grade of steel multiply by 0.4. This value is depend from grade of your steel. The strength of steel increases proportionally with the grade value. Based on the computation, we may compare the actual bending stress and actual shear stress with the permissible bending and shear stress on the mat. Based on these results, it is clear the actual stress is below the permissible stress threshold of the mat. Therefore, the crane mat is capable of evenly distributing the force on the ground exerted by the outrigger of the crane. Now you can get the GBP under the crane mat, which is maximum force from outrigger divided by crane mat area. Please take note, crane mat's effectiveness also depend to the ground condition. Here is a demonstration of the spreadsheet I have created. This spreadsheet automatically calculates the GBP result for the crane mats. Just input the necessary information and you'll get an automatic necessary answer. Let us input the data provided in the example, and verify if the outcome is identical.